now you know that I like to marry sweet things together to make them bigger and bolder. Well, if churro waffles doesn't do it for you, I don't know what will. I love waffles so much, I named my new puppy waffles. Say hi, waffles. To make the waffle batter, we're gonna weigh out all our dry ingredients, our wet ingredients, and then we're gonna combine them. In a large bowl, mix together your flour, sugar, salt, and raising agents and whisk together well. Now let's weigh out our wet ingredients. In a jug, measure your buttermilk, add in your vanilla, eggs, and canola oil. And whisk all together. Now to make your batter, you're gonna add your wet into your dry. So just like the same procedure for pancakes, we're gonna spell out the word waffles each time we mix so we don't overmix our batter. So you don't overmix your batter and you get nice, big, thick, beautiful waffles. This is a beautiful looking batter. It's lovely and thick. It has some nice lumps of flour, which are totally cool because once it rests, it's all gonna work itself out. Put your batter in the fridge, let it rest for like 10 minutes and then we can start baking them off. While our waffle batter is chilling, we're gonna make the chocolate sauce to go with the waffles. Heat your cream, but don't let it boil and pour it over your broken chocolate. Whisk until all the chocolate has melted and it becomes beautifully thick and shiny. Oh, it tastes gorgeous. Once you let this set in the fridge, you can scoop it and you can toss them in cocoa powder and you can make lovely chocolate truffles or you can melt it back down again and use it for a chocolate sauce for like an ice cream sundae. It's a really, really great recipe to have. To make these waffles taste like churros, we're gonna need cinnamon sugar. So mix together your sugar and cinnamon in a bowl, but don't use a tiny one like I did. Now that our waffle batter has rested, it's time to bake them off. So turn up your waffle iron to like medium high heat, get it nice and hot, but not too hot. Grease your waffle iron with butter. Spoon your batter into the waffle iron. I like to spread it around so I don't get any holes in my waffles. When you hear a beep, your waffles should be golden brown and smelling great. To make the waffles taste like churros, we're gonna brush them with melted butter when they come out of the waffle iron, and we're going to toss them in this beautiful cinnamon sugar that you made earlier. To serve your churro waffles, drizzle over your warm, rich chocolate sauce. And to be very bold, whipped cream too. Devour immediately. I really hope you guys try out these churro waffles and I hope you enjoyed meeting my dog, Waffles. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more big over the top recipes like this. And we'll see you back here again next Thursday for more bigger, bolder baking.